It's Thursday, and it is September 26, just a few days away from Monday night showdown at Ford Field versus the Seattle Seahawks, and the Detroit Lions are already making some roster moves, preparing for what is potentially going to be a shootout compared to what Dan Campbell had said today on the press conference uh, just a few hours ago. He's expecting some more explosives by the Detroit Lions, and the only way you're going to do that is with explosive wide receivers. The Detroit Lions today made a few additions to the active roster. Uh, in one move, they had signed Allen Robinson now to the active roster, uh, which is a huge upgrade over what the Detroit Lions had already had on the roster headed into the season. Uh, as I expected, the Detroit Lions would carry six receivers on the roster at some point this season. Even though they started with four, now we have six, and they are ready. Uh, Robinson last uh, signed with the Lions practice squad after the New York Giants cut him on the roster cutdown day this season. And then the Lions elevated Robinson to their active roster for his first matchup in week three versus the Arizona Cardinals, where he had just seen one single snap and he didn't play anything on special teams. But after rejoining the practice squad, Robinson uh, is now set to uh, permanently occupy a spot on this team's roster. And given the fact that we have quite a few injuries now with the Detroit Lions, there is definitely room. A uh, little background in history about Robinson. Uh, he's recorded three 1,000-yard campaigns in his NFL career. He had 80 catches and 1,400 yards uh, and a league-high 14 touchdowns in 2015, just 10 seasons ago. He also made the Pro Bowl while playing for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, Robinson made his 2024 debut, like I said, in Week 3. But with this addition, like I said, the Lions will now have six wide receivers on the active roster, other than Robinson, the Lions will now have Amon Ross St. Brown, Jamison Williams, Khalif Raymond, Isaiah Williams, and Tim Patrick. Now, the interesting thing about Allen Robinson is he's giving this team a nice complement to what we already have with Amon Ross St. Brown and Jamison Williams. We have, you know, the, the interior slot master in Amon Ross St. Brown, Jamison Williams, who is the speed demon, the guy that can get, you know, get tall, get explosive, get over top of the defense. And then you have a guy like Allen Robinson who can beat you on the outside, you know, along the corners, along the boundary, the sideline. Uh, he matches up well inside. He's able to body the smaller DBs and even some of the bigger DBs uh, to go up and get those 50-50 balls. And he's also going to work very well with Tim Patrick, having two taller wide receivers on the outside for the Detroit Lions. I can see where the red zone uh, is going to be impacted big time for the Detroit Lions to have more opportunity to score touchdowns. Now, over the past three seasons, uh, he's averaged not more than 10.8 yards per catch. I'm not mad at it. Bring it. We need it. Uh, the last time Robinson had a 500 uh, receiving yard season was 2020. He registered 102 catches for 1,250 yards and six TDs for the Chicago Bears in that season. Now, the Jaguars selected Robinson in the second round of the 2014 NFL Draft. After four seasons in Jacksonville and Chicago, he played for the Los Angeles Rams in 2022 and the Steelers in 2023. Now, it should be noted that Robinson did play all games last season. So it's not like this guy is an, an injured castaway or anything like that. He's just a little bit you know, older in his career, and, and he's obviously in a, in a position now where he can hopefully you know, do a little bit of ring hunting, and, and I hope, really hope that's going to happen for him in, in Detroit. Um, tough game going up against uh, the, the Seattle Seahawks this weekend. We're going to need every opportunity uh, to beat them deep and to get explosive and up over top of this defense, uh, which does have a, a stingy linebacker and, uh, and cornerback room. So it, it will be interesting to see how Ben Johnson is going to implement Allen Robinson this weekend. Now, he's been with the team for a few weeks. Uh, he's probably got a, a good rap on, on this playbook, and we should see him installed early in this game when the Lions get close to the red zone. Uh, in coordinating moves, though, uh, there was a few other moves that the Lions made today, uh, one being that they re-signed and brought back Abraham Beauplan. Now, he is a very interesting pickup uh, for the Detroit Lions this offseason. Uh, during uh, summer training camp, he really started to stand out and had a really good preseason with the Detroit Lions. So I'm glad to see that he is back. Clearly the Lions are, are you know pretty banged up in the linebacker room uh, as well as the defensive end position. So Beauplan should 
uh, cement nicely uh, in this room and find a way to the active roster at some point through this season. Hopefully not due to injury, but I do expect for him to get called up at some point. Uh, he was playing really, really well. Now, Bopon doesn't have any NFL regular, regular season experience, uh, but all of his previous experience in the league was with the Vikings under defensive coordinator Brian Flores. Uh, perhaps Bopon could provide the Detroit Lions an edge in the two teams' 2024 matchups. Uh, so really interested to see how this is going to shake out, and that's really you know the, the biggest reason why he's up is because of Derek Barnes, who we know has suffered a major knee injury and has been placed on injured reserve as of, uh, as of September 24th. However, now, Detroit does have seven other players listed as linebackers on their active roster, which is quite a few. It's going to be a little bit of a log jam, but I do expect for him to see some action at some point. He does play a little bit of a different style than I would say the other guys. Uh, you've got Ukwu or, um, you know, even, even Rodriguez. He's just a little bit different style than those guys. So he brings an interesting factor to this team. Uh, I'm glad that he's back because he really had uh, had had a couple of nice preseason games, and I thought that he was going to make it. I really thought that he was going to make the initial 53. But that's it for your breaking update here on Thursday, September 26th. It is now 1.17 p.m., and this video should be dropping in the next hour. You guys go one pride. Go Detroit Lions. We'll see you right back here in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.